Hi there, Scorpio. This is Kim here to do your reading for you. It's going to be for your next 48 hours. I'm going to do a short reading today as I am now taking donations until the new year um, for private readings for donations to channels. Look in the description box below for that information. So let's get started. Um, asking that your spirit guides and your angels help us. I have the Three of Swords coming out as the issue. So you know, this is heartache, this is sadness, this is some kind of loss of some sort or hurt. The challenge is the ace of coins. I think the challenge is seeing the opportunity in this situation. That might be it. Seeing the opportunities in this type of situation. Um, the five of swords in the reverse is, it's kind of talking about how it's, it's not, it's not going to be much of an option any longer Like you're going to have to let go of this, um, pain and, um, heaviness because it will weigh you down. Hey, that's a lot of Libra energy there too. So there's balance coming, especially with this opportunity. I don't want you to miss this because it's here. It's in the challenge. So seeing it is the challenge. Okay, the past energy. <clears throat> past energy, Knight of Coins, Ten of Swords, and the Star. So, uh, this could be about a Taurus and Aquarius or um, a Gemini energy. This is about um, this is about business, and it's about overdoing it or being really burned out. But it's still chasing after your dreams. So there is a rebirth of your dreams, um, possibly having to do with like a business or something like that. Um, the star here in the recent past is like your renewed hope, your renewed sense of hope. And the nine of or eight of swords in reverse is kind of it's good to get that. I would rather have it in the reverse if I got it, and then it's kind of a good card. It's about getting out of the mind that basically is a prison. So you see how we tie ourselves down, and it's our minds that we do this with, believing in the things that people say are true, you know, but they're just labels. Near future energy, and that'd be Gemini energy again. Near future energy is the Queen of Wands. So acknowledging your gifts, um, that you're here and you have things that are you're gifted with in order to help others and to help yourself move along. So it's recognizing those gifts, being bold and daring and using them and prospering from them. So this is intuitive, prosperous, bold, daring Good energy, Aries energy, confident. Okay, how do you feel? How do you feel? Mm, you feel seven of swords, so you're very in your head right now. But look, we're letting go because it's there's something that you feel deceived about. It could be some inner conflict in, in within yourself. You could have been feeling like you deceived yourself here. Um, if this is the energy of lying, cheating, stealing, it could be energy that you were in and are no longer part of too. So it can be like that. It can be like being very clear on ways that you feel you've been deceived or made to see something that wasn't real, an illusion. Ace of Swords is that clarity giving you the victory here. And I think because it adds up to the 10, it's, it's, wow, it's 10, 10. It's the world card right here saying new beginning, new chapter coming. Okay. In uh, the environment, we have the king of swords. Wow. Gaining control, discipline, um, making sure that power is being used appropriately here. Um, it looks like one of those samurai soldiers, doesn't it? I kind of like, <laughs> it looks like a um, Star Wars thing too. So um, the hopes or fears, the Ace of Cups is that the universe offers a big cup of something you've done from the past and that 
it's either not accepted or there's something about the, you know, something about, okay, well, if I put all my trust into this love thing and it doesn't work, then what do I do? But I don't think you have to worry about that. We won't let, we won't, um, you know, linger on a fear too much. They're in the mail for you when they're in the reverse. So there is going to be another opportunity um, for something that you've done before. King of Swords is Aquarius energy. What is the outcome here looking like for our Scorpios? Oh, Knight of Cups. Wow. And the Four of Wands in reverse with the Chariot, guys, and the Five of Cups in reverse. And the Lovers. Oh, my goodness. And the Hang One in reverse. And the Commitment card, the Hierophant. Oh, my God. It's upright. Guys, this is so good. Okay, so... The four of wands in the reverse could mean uh, moving or uprooting or, you know what I mean? Like, there is an offer that's coming and may give you the ability to uproot. It's something like that. Knight of Cups energy, Piscean energy. It's a genuine, loving offer that's coming your way. The chariot is like, okay, listen, if you get on this um, this in this vehicle for success, it might be a little bit bumpy and there might be some more mountains to climb, but you'll get there. It's an insured success if you want it. You will be victorious, especially since you're learning how to let go of these emotions that are keeping you blocked. In essence, yourself keeping yourself blocked. So letting go of that, calling in your soulmate or soul partner or, um, a crossroads where you have the decisions, these big decisions to make regarding commitment and what are you really committed to here with this Taurus energy, Gemini, and then the hang one in the reverse is saying, hey, it's time. It's time for you to be committed right now if you want to be. And there's nothing but good judgments and, and like good results that are coming here. And I love this. Yeah, seven of coins in the reverse. It's time. It is time. It is the time is nigh. The time is nigh. <laughs> All right, let's get um let me get a cry on for you and I'm going to wrap up your reading. Sorry they're kind of short today, but I just want to make sure that they that I, I actually get them out. Rewrite the past is your card. Rewrite the past. One of the kind of harder um, one of the harder things to actually explain about rewriting the past, let's see. Um, it says past actions in 3D cannot be changed, but the memories of them can. So therefore, if you re rewrite your reaction to something that happened in the past, it will change you in the present. So basically change the past by rewriting the present. Then your future changes as well. If you receive this card, perhaps you might consider how your past has shaped you says perhaps you need to see the pe person for who they are now instead of what they were in the past so where is the real person that you are and what this means is we simply cannot let our actions in the past define who we are today did you ever meet a person who had something happen and then created who they were on that um and it says right now in this energy you have the profound ability to change everything about yourselves and rewrite the past so um, imagine being peaceful again, forgiving others or yourself, remembering without pain. It would be the beginning of reflection with compassion and wisdom and the end of a nightmare. That's what I got for you, Scorpio. Sending you light and love. Thanks.